Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today I'm playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, this is, uh, I'm a huge fan of the Pokemon games, first of all. Um, I didn't actually end up finishing X and Y, but I did really enjoy where I got up to. I got probably three quarters of the way through it and then I got kind of busy, so I stopped playing it. Um, but I'm here with the Nintendo 3DS capture card and recording the gameplay. Uh, for Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I've also got um, Omega Ruby on my other 3DS, but because that is tied to my eShop account, I can't use it on this 3DS, so I actually got, um, I actually went out and bought uh, Alpha Sapphire so that I could play it for you guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump into the game. We'll watch the uh, intro sequence. And like I said, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I've I mean, I played the original games back when they came out and um, absolutely loved them. I think I've probably played through them now like three or four times since then. Uh, gold, silver, uh, crystal, all those ones, the old school ones, the best in my opinion. Um, Alright, let's uh, jump in. Start game. And oh yeah, um, I, did, I did have, uh, what did I have? I had Ruby. Um, on the original Game Boy, well not the original, on the Game Boy Advance, but I never actually played it, so I had it, I didn't play it. Whoa, what's going on there? Haha, <laughs> that's awesome! It's like a Game Boy. And you have to forgive me because I, I don't know the names of hardly any of these new Pokemon. I, I, I like the series, but I'm not like a really hardcore um, player. Like I don't do any of like the Nuzlocke challenges or the Egglock challenge or... Um, I mean, I might, but I, I'm not right now. Um, I don't count things like EV points and um, you know, all the real hardcore stuff. I just want to play it for the story and uh, some of the fun and see what the new... see what some of the monsters are and the mega evolutions and... We're just going to go through the series and beat all the gym leaders and I might battle some of you guys. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Uh, what's my name? It is... Let's go with uh, RM2KDev. There we go, RM2KDev. So you're RM2K Dev? Yes, I am. Ah, I see. You're that RM2K Dev. <laughs> you're the one who's moving to Little Root Town, where I live. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your very own adventure now is about to unfold. I've been waiting for literally maybe a month since this game came out to play it. Like, I bought Omega Ruby on my other 3DS. And then I bought this uh, 3DS capture device and I was like, well, I'm not going to play the game now because I know I want to record it. So I, I literally didn't play it. I, I had it, I've got it on the other 3DS and I was like, I want to play it, but i got to hold out. I have to wait for you guys. Otherwise, it'll be um, a bit of a spoiler because I'll already know what's happening. So I waited and then this new 3DS came and I can't system transfer my account from the old, well, from the new Nintendo 3DS to the... Uh, capture card 3DS, so I was kind of stuck a little bit like that. RM2K Dev, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of a bumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it should, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time. Come on, you have to see the inside. Wow, my mum sounds like a man. I love the music. The music is great. See, RM2, I should have called myself RM2K Dev. It's weird. Isn't it nice here too? The moving company's even helping with unpacking and cleanup. They're really making moving a cinch. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> oh man, that would scare the shit out of me. Um, thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Grr, grr. Yeah, you better get out of the way. 
I'm buff. Look at me. Buff, buff, buff. You should go and see your new room upstairs. Dad even bought a new clock to help... I didn't get to read that. <laughs> it's to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. That's what I get for uh, pressing the button before, before actually reading the sentence. Uh, the clock on the wall isn't moving. You've got to set the time. What time is it in Australia? Right now, it is... Oh, it's going to pick it up off of my um, 3DS, isn't it? Of course it is. The hour hand was set to 16 and the minute set to 2. That's... That's right. Yeah, that's right. How do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving in downstairs too, so it's, it's really nice having Pokemon around us to help. I didn't read that either. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all on, there on your desk. Yeah, because those bloody... What were they? They were Machamp. Is it Machamp? Like it's been a long time since I played a Pokemon game. I think they're Machamps. Um, is everything on my desk? RM2K Dev's notebook is full of adventure rules he jotted down. Adventure rule number one, open the menu with X. Uh, record your progress with save. Let's do it! Save! Would you like to save the game? Yes! Saving, don't turn off the power. You don't even get a chance to turn off the power anymore. Like, in the old games, you could actually turn off the power and, like, corrupt your save. What's that on the floor? Is that a Wii U? I think that's a Wii U. That's great. It's a Wii U! It has a gamepad with a screen. There's a little bit of um, self-advertising there from Nintendo. They're like, hey kids, you want to play Wii U? It's the Pedalberg Gym, maybe Dad will be on TV. We brought you this gym report live in front of Pedalberg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. That's a shame. But that reminds me, one of Dad's friends live in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, I kind of lied a little bit. I did play, like, maybe an hour of this game back on the old Game Boy Advance, so I know he's not home. I know he's in the bushes being chased around. What? Who are you? Oh, you're RM2K Dev, our new, do our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. She's excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you go and introduce yourself. Yep, let's do that. G'day, mate. How you going? Nah, that's not how he speaks. That's not how he speaks. Let's do it. Pokemon fully restored. Items already and... Huh, who are you? Huh? We are. Wow, that was actually what he said. <laughs> she, sorry, what she said. Hmm. Oh, you must be RM2K Dev. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I actually have this dream about becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. Ah, then when Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch told me you were moving here. Well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But, but that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right? So, what am I talking about? <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Uh, we'll see you later! I'm not going to read my name because rm 2 Dev is a bad name for this, I think. I just feel like it just, it just doesn't work. Um, what does she have to say now? Where is that husband of mine? It was so good of you to visit. And yet, he's nowhere to be found. Yep. You know what? Have you got anything to eat, lady? I'm hungry. Give me food. Give me food. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, you guys can be hungry because you have no food. So, take that. Wow, this game looks great. And also, you can move in like any way you like. That's awesome. Oh, there's a bug. Well, anyway, you can mostly move it any way you like. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. I'll help you. H help me! It's a... Is that a... What is that? I can't remember the name of that thing. It's not a Zigzagoon. I remember Zigzagoon is like... Hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there's some Pokeballs. Oh. 
It's time. Choose a Pokemon. All right, this is the crucial moment, ladies and gentlemen. Who should we pick? We can go with the Grass-type Pokemon Trico, the Fire-type Pokemon Torchic, or the Water-type Pokemon Mudkip. Well, I believe I'm playing uh, Alpha Sapphire, and this is the game which is mostly set, apparently, in the Water Zones. So choosing a starting type of a Water Pokemon probably wouldn't be very useful. Choosing a Fire-type Pokemon would probably not be very useful as well, because we'd, we'd be at a disadvantage when, you know, everyone's using Water-type Pokemon in the later uh, fights. So I think we're going to have to go with the Trico. You chose Trico! Dun, 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 dun. A wild Puccina appeared. What was his name? I didn't get to read that. Pooch... Puccina. Yeah, that's it. Um, what will you do? I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna get my uh, 3DS uh, stick out and I'm gonna... What do you call it? A stylus. 3DS stick. Idiot. Um, absorb. You know what, I'm gonna put the 3DS stick away. It's really, it's killing the mood. I feel like I need to be using my hands. Uh, fight. I'm going to pound. Dun, 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 dun. The wild Puccina fainted. Trico gained 24 experience points. Whew. I went into the tall grass, sorry, I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide, thanks a lot. Oh, but you're Norman's boy, RM2K Dev. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat though. Come along to my lab. Yes, come to my lab. <laughs> this is a nice lab you have, sir. Very many lab-like things. So, RM2K Dev, I heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite a performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes. To say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? <gasps> Thank you so much! While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? No. I hate nicknaming my Pokemon, because then I never know what they are. <laughs> oh, so that's how you're going to do things. Not even giving it a nickname, are you? You know, if you work with Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl May happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea if you head out that way yourself. What do you think? Of course! Let's do it! Great! I'm sure May will be happy to hear that too. She can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes! And if you're ever lost along the way, use the Area Nav on your Pokenav Plus. Uh, you can you can use it to see how to get to Route 103 where May ought to be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Well thank you Professor Birch. This thing over here, I don't know what that is, but it looks great. It's a map. It's a serious looking machine. There you go, that's what it is. I like it. Yes, I'm doing research. Haha. <laughs> Professor Birch is studying the habits of distributing. <laughs> I can't do it. Professor Birch. I can't do it. Is studying, <laughs> is studying the habits and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys May's help too. There's a lot to love there. I'm not sure if you said there's a lot to love or there's a lot of love. It doesn't matter. Alright, so we have our first Pokemon. I think we'll call it here, guys. I'm going to upload these videos quite frequently, so... I mean, by the time you watch this video, the second video should already be live, because I'm just keeping them short for YouTube, because it makes it easier for me to edit and upload them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like if you liked this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's tons of other games that I'll be playing. I also do game development tutorials, so if you're not one of my regular viewers, then you'll also be able to learn how some games are made. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave any comments and feedback in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.